Hey, I just wanted to take a moment and do a Q&A on the Dynamo Sports Wings. Uh, today I'm holding the black ones, which are uh, designed for someone that is uh, about 6'1 and up. So 6'1 and up high works very, very well. Uh, I am 6'2", 210 pounds, and I'm 62 years old. Uh, I'm bringing this all up because uh, I just wanted to show this in some type of perspective for uh, the proper fit. I've had 17 knee surgeries, and I have arthritis in my hands also. So let's go from top to bottom with these very quickly. So first of all, with the sports swings here, the part that fits under your axilla is actually soft foam. So you can see my fingertips digging into it here. So you can see it's here. This is hard plastic. This is soft foam, so the part that fits under your armpits is soft foam. It's got an irregular shape that fits your armpit, so once it fits under your armpit, it should feel pretty good. Now, um, the grips here are the same thing. These are also rubber. The exterior here is hard plastic, and again, this is rubber here for great contact so your hand doesn't slip. And unlike other crutches that have the round dial that twists around, these give you a firmer grip. Now, the grip is very different too if you look at them. It's a flat grip, very wide and very flat. And the rationale for that is this, is that when you're pulling something, uh, humans are designed to use their fingers. So you wrap your fingers around it as if holding this pole. If you're gonna pull it, you grab it this way. If we're pushing something, we want to align it with the ulna and the radius here. And we do that by placing our entire palm. So if we're pushing forward like this, you want to align it here. This grip is designed exactly like that. It's a pushing grip designed how humans work to push down here. You have your greatest force this way. Anytime you're holding it with your fingertips while you're pushing, it is not optimal. And it also causes damage and potentially uh, arthritis and wrist pain and finger pain. In this case here with our grips, the fingers aren't necessary. All you're doing is pushing, you lightly put your fingers around it, but all the pressure is going through your ulna, your radius, and the palm, which is what we want. Now, the feet on here, as you can see here on the bottom of this, are pretty big. So if I put here, you look at my foot, it's probably two thirds the size of my foot here. And the reason for that is this. You are coming off an injury, or you've just been injured, or you got a surgery, or you got a lifelong debilitating issue. The last thing you want is to put on something this big to replace something this big, which is not optimal. Now, if you look at the bottom of this again, lots of grip. And if you look at the side here, to help the jarring and things like this, these actually move. So you get spring loaded in the rear and the front. So they move as you place them on the ground, which is very good. Now, the next part of this, as you can see here, if I take this, they actually articulate, which means that they move. So if you look here, they move. And they're supposed to lock. They lock this way so they don't get caught on carpet and curbs and things like this So as you're walking. So this is what they're designed for. Now, why is this a big deal? This is a big deal because when you're walking, you want your surface on the ground all the time. As long as if my foot while I'm stepping is in the air, in the air here, then I don't have any grip. If the, the heel of my foot's on the ground, I only have the grip on my heel. Well, I want the grip everywhere. So that's what this does. So as this moves forward, and I'll demonstrate here in a moment, it keeps it on the ground all the time, which is fantastic. That's what we want to happen. So uh, the most novel feature here is this is the strap in the back. This goes across the back of your back here. And what this does is it prevents the number one reason why crutches slip out. And that is this. They slip out moving forward. So if I'm moving forward like this, normally if you're going to slip, they move forward and they come out. Well, as long as you have our patented strap in here, we call it the link swing link, it cannot come out. It doesn't make any difference. What you do, it cannot come out. It's not going to come out. I'm pushing the force here. It can't come out. So it eliminates one of the possible ways that a crutch can slip out away from you. The other one is backwards. Well, we've eliminated 50% of the chance of this happening, and the majority of them are forward because when you walk, you're moving forward. Your momentum is going this way, so the majority of slip out to this way, not this way. 
So this eliminates the number one cause of slip outs just by here. The next thing here is this, is that these are not regular crutches. While they share some symmetry here, if you look at a regular set of crutches, these are 50% wider between these two bands here, six inches between the top here. Okay, so they're wider at the top, which means that the base that sits under your armpit is wider. The next thing here is that regular old crutches, they tell you to take your crutches and fit them about a fifth length underneath your armpit. These are not that way, they're not designed to be that way. These are designed to rest underneath your armpit directly. And the reason for that is this, we want more contact points to control. When it rests in this point, hanging down here, this is, there's more chance of rubbing your ribs and rotating at the wrists. And all your pressure is on your hands. And you're constantly squeezing, trying to keep it against your body. We don't want that. What we want you to do is put it underneath your armpit and we want it to move like a pendulum. This is great. That's what we want, pendulum motion. And this adds another set of places where you can add body weight and pressure. With a normal set of crutches, all of the weight is in the grip and all the pressure is on the fingers. We don't want that. We're sharing it equally now between the armpits and the grips, four different places versus two. So if I weigh about 200 pounds, that's 50 pounds per location as opposed to 100 pounds per location if it's just the grips. Let's be clear about this. Being on crutches, no matter what, is not a pleasant experience. So in any case, we're trying to make lemonade out of lemons here. And that's what we're doing here. Crutches are no fun, and I've spent a lot of hundreds of hours of days on crutches, and a lot worse than this too. So let's take these for a stroll. So we're here at Dynamo, we're going to take these for a test drive, or in this case, a test run. And there are different ways of using them. So. Uh, the simple way is that you're not hurt too badly. You can still walk. You just want a little assistance. So you just go for a normal walk. So you put them in front of you. And as you can notice, while I'm walking, the heel of the device goes down. And it's off the ground here. But as soon as I apply pressure to them, watch. Boom. They go flat. Which is what we designed them to do. And now they stay flat. Even though I'm moving forward, the device is staying forward until I'm about to take my step here. And watch what happens when I put my heel down. They come up on the ball which is what we want them to do. So if I just go for a little walk here, just nice and easy. I'm resting on the armpits and the grips all at the same time. Armpits and the grips at the same time. So I just go for a little stroll here. And this is nice. And if I was a little bit off balance and it's the fourth, boom, look this. It's not going anywhere. I'm very stable at this point. It's not going anywhere. But this is not a good task. We design swings so you can live your life. Our motto is walk, run, play. So we're going to take you on our course while we test everything. So we have real life. I'm going to go through here so we show that in this area. Let's hands around. Let's take it on a real walk. Let's see what happens. So I'm going to go for a walk here. I'm going to treat it that kind of nerd. Put one part of here. Go down the hill. I want to see what's going to happen. What's going to happen here? I have control, and this is what I want. I'm going to take my time as usual. Look at this. The articulation works beautifully. So if I've got it here, I'm going to put it on the side of the hill. Look what happens. It builds flat and gives me more traction. Look at that. So I'm coming down here. Great. I have more traction. Just for the fun of it, I'm going to step on a rock or two. Look at this. Put it in here on the rocks. And can I walk across them? I don't know. Let's see what's going to happen here. I pick them up. Look at this. Look at the articulation. You can't do this with a set of normal crutches. I'm on the side of the hill. Look at this. One side higher than the other. You want to be very careful. Put it on the side. And because of the swing, look, look at this. In places like this, a normal set of crutches would be all over the place. But because of the length, it gives me more stability. So I can put this one up here on the top of the hill. Look at this. And I can walk just fine. Take my time and walk the way I want. Down here in the bottom, you can see this is a little wet down here and it's uneven. I'm going to walk right through here. So a normal set of crutches, this would sink right into the mud. But with the swings, it doesn't. It mashes down on it. Very good. Look at that. And let's try to do this. Look at this. 
on a normal set of crutches, I don't think you can do this very well. So let's go. For, let's finish our tour. Let's say we're a little more injured. And we're going to go for a tour. If I, I had knee surgery. I've had it lots of times. So we'll go here. I've had knee surgery. Uh oh, I gotta go up a hill. How am I gonna do this? Should I crush it? Alright, so I gotta figure this out. Can I do it? Can I do it safely? I don't know. Let's figure it out. Can I get here? Taking my time. Put this pressure on. Woo, I made it. Look at that. Worked out pretty well. Let's go for a walk. Let's look at some more obstacles here. This is our death pad. We'll go right through here. Oh, we'll on track. Please, we've got to pick it up. Pick it over. No problem. Put a little pressure on it. One side going to the other. Fine. Look at that. Do sideways if I have to. Real world, the way things really happen in life. Look at this. I'm down the hill. Can I get down? It's about two and a half feet down here. What can I do? Put it in front of me. How am I going to get down here? Put it in front. Lots of stability. Look at that. Uh oh. Sand. A new obstacle. What's it going to do there? Look at that. Right on sand. No issue. Rocks. Loose rocks. This rocks. This is the wood. A railroad track. Now still, I'm simulating that I have a bum leg. Going across the railroad tracks up here, going up on loose gravel. You don't have so much problems. Now, if I don't have so many problems, look how easy it is to walk. If I'm just walking, all this is much easier, even on uneven terrain. I stepped out, and look at this. I was off balance, but look what happened. Because I have the swing link, it caught me, and the crush didn't slip out. Look at that. I had to take a longer step. I didn't fall down. I can walk this way if I want. I can walk this way if I want. With confidence, because I know my swing leg is not going anywhere. I'm resting on four different points.